Hey friends, so here I am in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how I make my Daniel Fast Chili. So on my cutting board here, you can see I've chopped up some bell peppers. I have red and yellow bell peppers. I've also chopped up some sweet onions. Um, this is my container. This is the quinoa that I'm going to use. This um, is the black beans I'm gonna use. This is from Trader Joe's and you're like, well, um, is it Daniel Fast Friendly? Yes, it is. There are only two ingredients in your organic black beans, water, sea salt, right? Right? so that's what I'm going to use I have my sweet potato which I'm going to wash and chop up as well um, I have some olive oil here and then um, I showed you before how to make your own veggie broth in another Daniel fast video so I'm just going to make some veggie broth um, and I'm going to use that um, and if you don't want to make veggie broth you can also just use water very simply so um, I have my pot here on the stove um, so I'm going to heat this up um, add my olive oil and and then I'm going to saute my onions and peppers so translucent and then I'll show you the rest of these steps next. All right guys, now that my onions are translucent, I'm just going to add one sweet potato that I have chopped up right into my pot. I'm just gonna mix that up and I'm just going to let that simmer for like one minute so that the sweet potato can get some of the flavor from the onions and peppers. And then I will add my veggie broth so here I have two cups of my veggie broth and I'll add that in in one minute and then I'll tell you what to do next. All right guys, now that my potatoes have cooked for a minute, I'm just gonna add my veggie broth right into the pot. And then I'm also going to add my quinoa. So this is a half cup of quinoa. You can see it's in my strainer or colander, a fine mesh colander. And um, this, I rinsed it because with quinoa, if you don't rinse it, you might get a bitter taste. So make sure you rinse it really well with water. Um, so this is a half a cup and I'm just gonna add that right to my pot. And then I'm just going to mix that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna let this cook until the sweet potatoes get really soft. And then I will add my black beans, which I've rinsed and drained. Um, and then um, I'll also add my seasonings mix. And I'll tell you all about the seasonings mix in one minute. So to season my chili here, I have garlic powder. I have organic thyme. I have some uh, Himalayan salt here, uh, onion powder organic oregano um ground cumin and of course some black pepper you can also add chili powder or paprika if you want i'm not adding any chili powder to this particular recipe or you could also um use cayenne pepper it's really up to you in my daniel fast guide which is linked below i show you um, different ways you can make seasonings mix and also give you some uh, tips on my favorite seasonings mix so uh, make sure to check that out in the daniel fast guide so for this i'm just going to do one teaspoon of basically everything that you see here um, and i'm just going to mix that all together and then i'm just going to pour that right into my chili um, and i'll show you what it looks like next all right guys as you can see here now my potatoes are nice and soft and you can see my quinoa it's nice and fluffy it's cooked um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to add my diced tomatoes as well as my black beans which I've rinsed and drained and my seasonings mix and then I'm just going to cover that and let it simmer and guys you're going to have some delicious Daniel Fast chili and this meal is one that you can use for a Daniel Fast lunch or a Daniel Fast dinner. You will definitely have enough for the next day and you can see it's nice and thick so it's really hearty especially if it's like winter where you are. This is perfect for that type of weather as well um, you can also see that for me my broth has like basically boiled out because again it's just absorbed into the quinoa so what you can do is you can always add another cup of your veggie broth or water it depends on what you're using it depends on how thick you like your chili so once I add my diced tomatoes which aren't drained that will be fine so I'm not going to add any more um, broth to this I'm just going to use the uh, water that's already in my diced tomatoes so hope you guys check this recipe out for sure all right guys you can see here is my chili just simmering in the pot so it's pretty much ready to go I've added in my diced tomatoes here as well as my black beans and my seasonings guys this smells 
amazing. I'm telling you, you're going to love this Daniel Fast chili. And like I said, you can use this for a Daniel Fast lunch, a Daniel Fast dinner. It's just so, so good. Like, and you just let it simmer. And once you have it all simmered and ready, you can just serve this. And it's so nice and hearty. And you have protein from the beans and the quinoa. You have your carbohydrates, you have your vegetables. So you have everything in here that you need for a nutritious Daniel Fast meal. Again, this is a wonderful meal for your 21 day Daniel Fast. And then if you're looking to add some extra fat, so you know having fat in your food um, helps you stay full longer, especially healthy fat. So I I have an avocado here so I'm just gonna cut this up I'm just gonna put some of my chili in a bowl and add a little bit of avocado on top and that will keep me full for such a long time and this is just such a delicious Daniel fast meal so if you guys enjoy these recipes make sure that you share them with your friends that you give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more awesome uh, recipes just like this before you leave I just want to remind you that you're only one prayer away thank you so much for watching God bless you and I'll see you in the next one enjoy